High speed chases are one of the most dangerous situations for police officers and tonight a tech savvy device is being added to the Lawrence Police Department to make pursuits safer. CBS 4's Lindsay Eaton is in Lawrence to show us how this works. Lindsay. The GPS devices will go on the front of patrol cars. A launcher is fired out and it attaches to the fleeing car. The officer can then back away and the suspect may think he's in the clear, but now he has even more eyes on him. Every pursuit is different. Every person running from the police has different motivations. Police pursuits are fast, risky, and have proven to be deadly. Our only uh, in the line of duty death that our department has experienced was as a result of a police chase. And uh, uh, we hope we don't have to experience that again. The Lawrence Police Department will be the first agency in the state to be armed with a new tech savvy device. You're not going to get away. The star chase tool goes on the front of the patrol car. Once the officer gets close enough to the fleeing car, the officer uses a laser to take aim and fire a launcher that sticks to the back of the suspect's car. Inside that launcher is a GPS tracking chip. Once the technology is up and running, uh, the GPS unit is up and running, then the officers can back off just a little bit, bring some additional assets in. The GPS tracker is monitored from our dispatch center. Our dispatch center can coordinate other responding units in a more safe way. The officer no longer has to chase down the suspect to keep track of him. The device is on it. The person, again, driving the vehicle being pursued may have no idea that we've employed this device. This past year, the Lawrence Police Department has been involved in 29 pursuits. The most recent, just last month, police tried to pull over this car after an armed robbery. The driver led police on a six mile chase before crashing into a pole. The three suspects were hurt. The person that chooses to run is creating a very dangerous environment for themselves, for the officers, and for the other people that are around. The department has $14,000 in grant money to spend on these devices. They should be up and running in the next two to three months. In Lawrence, Lindsay Eden, CBS 4 News. All right, Lindsay.